What's up YouTube and welcome to today's video where I'm going to give you four tips on how you can make your finished designs pop with that extra little touch at the very end. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do with your finished design is simply swipe with three fingers on your design and go to the option of copy all. Once you go copy all you want to swipe with three fingers again and you're going to go for the option of paste. Now what that will do is when you go to your layers, you'll end up with a finished layer of all your layers together in one flat one ready to go. First little tip is to go up to adjustments and hue, saturation and brightness and then the layer option. And from here, you can go ahead and adjust some of the scales of your design. For example, if you wanted to see what your beach huts here would look like in a different hue spectrum, slide your hue slider down here and you may end up with some different colors that you may not have used before, which you can then go back in and adjust your design with. Otherwise, you can simply adjust just the saturation and punch out some of those beach hut colors. Or you can then mess around with the brightness slider and add in some darker tones or even some lighter tones like so. But just to tweak your image one final time, potentially before you posted it online. Tip number two is then again, if you go up to adjustments and then we go to gradient map and then layer, you can end up with some really fun effects here that you can go ahead and cycle through and see how your design would then turn out otherwise. Some really strong looking gradients here that will apply on top of your design, but you may end up hitting one such as Venice here, which will just give you that really cool retro look and you can scroll through all the different gradients on offer and see which one fits your design the best. But a little bonus extra tip here, you can actually use this plus icon here to create your own gradient and you can tap along this scale here to add as many points and each point you can tap on and add a different color and you can create your own gradients here that you can essentially use as filters every single time you finish a design and then hit done and then tap on your adjustments when you are finished and you may end up with a really fun looking design that takes your image to the next level. My next tip is then to potentially going up to your layers and then your layer that we just added in with the three finger swipe. If you tap on the end, just scroll through all the different layer options and you may end up with a slightly different design that you maybe weren't thinking of using in terms of a color spectrum. But starting at the top, multiply all the way down to normal, we'll add in some darker tones. Then we've got some lighter tones here. But then we also have some punchier ones slightly down here with the vivid light. Now some of them may not match your design as you've done it. It may be better suited towards a darker design. But scrolling through here sometimes, for example, if I go all the way back up to multiply, it really punches out a lot of these colors. And you can simply lower the opacity down of the effect where you may end up going for a slightly darker or lighter or more punchier version of the design that you created just to give it again that final tweak just before you publish it. And the final adjustment that I tend to use is if you go up to adjustments and you go to curves and then layer, you can then mess around with the different gamma scale here, which again, you can slide this node across the bottom here, which will then start to bring in some darker tones into the design. And if you scale this one across at the top, it'll add some lighter tones. Now, again, this depends on what type of design you've done. My design's fairly light, so adding in some darker shadows here tends to look pretty good, but you can drag these scales down however you want and just tinker with the curves maybe even adjust the colors themselves. So if you wanna get rid of some of the warmer tones, the red tones, you can just adjust the red on its own and change your image accordingly. And again, and you may end up with a design like this where you end up with something that you weren't looking for originally, but a few tweaks here and there will also give you that extra little touch. And all four tips here can be combined. And that's it, that's my four tips of what I do when I finish my designs. I post Procreate content every single week, so if you'd like some content, hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell. And if you'd like some extra Joel Create content, you can always sign up to my Patreon, where the link is in the description down below, where you can get access to exclusive tutorials, as well as extra benefits on my Discord and Facebook group. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next one.